Skywatch Media News for the final week of November 2021. A leading British astronomer has suggested that an object believed to be lurking in our solar system may well be the elusive Planet X, also known as Planet 9. The announcement was made after archived evidence was unveiled at the Imperial College of London, indicating the possible presence of a mysterious planet up to ten times bigger than Earth, with a distant orbit around the Sun. A UK professor of astrophysics conducted a new analysis of telescopic data collected by the infrared astronomical satellite back in the year 1983, which may have detected the planet without even realizing it. In December of that year, the Washington Post published a report stating that the infrared telescope had detected a heavenly body, possibly as large as the planet Jupiter and possibly as close to the Earth as to be part of the solar system, was found in the direction of the constellation Orion. And so, some 38 years after the report was first published, the UK astronomer Michael Robinson looked through 250,000 point sources detected by the telescope, which conducted a far-infrared survey of 96% of the sky. Upon a thorough analysis of the data, including the planet's supposed size and distance, the satellite singled out a moving object on three occasions. The candidate that was picked up by the telescopic survey would be up to five times the mass of the Earth, and its orbital distance would be some 225 times further than that of our planet, roughly 21 billion miles from our Sun. If the object is rotating around the sun at this distance, little if any sunlight would be reflected off its surface, making it even more elusive and more difficult to locate. The debate on the existence of the undiscovered planet has been ongoing for many decades. Its theoretical presence is mostly based on the gravitational clustering of objects in the outer solar system. In January of 2015, a group of astronomers were convinced that they had found the hidden planet in our solar system when it was discovered that a number of icy objects that lie beyond the orbit of Neptune within the Kuiper Belt may be under the gravitational influence of a larger mysterious body, the so-called Planet X that moves in a strange elliptical orbit. The analysis was not based on an actual observation, but rather on the modeling that suggests its possible existence in the distant solar system. One of the most intriguing questions regarding its possible existence is where it may have come from. Some have suggested that it has always existed within our solar system, hidden within the ecliptic plane. But this seems unlikely since it would require the early solar system to have been stretched out as far as its distant refuge. There is also the suggestion that it may be an alien imposter, an object that was stolen from another star long ago when our star was in its infant stages. But the theory seems as unlikely since the planet would probably have been lost during the next stellar encounter. Another scenario proposes that the planet formed much closer to the Sun at a time when the solar system was in its early stages and the planets were beginning to coalesce out of the surrounding gas and dust, hanging around the giant planet formation before eventually being scattered out by Jupiter and Saturn where its orbit was modified by passing stars. It all begs an obvious question. If the planet is there, why hasn't our modern technology detected its actual presence? The most logical reason for its elusiveness is because most astronomical surveys are not looking for a single specific object, rather a class of objects. So hunting down a specific object in the vastness of the solar system is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. At the present time, there is but one telescope that has the potential of finding the elusive planet, 
and that would be the Subaru Telescope, located at the summit of a dormant volcano, Mauna Kea in Hawaii, capable of capturing the weak light of distant celestial objects. It would be the ideal instrument for capturing the shadowy planet within the expanse of our solar system, but its use is limited to but a few nights of the year for such an endeavor. Within the next few years, a telescope called the Vera Rubin will be up and running. The next generation telescope, presently under construction in Chile, will be scanning the sky systematically, photographing the entire sky every few nights to survey its contents. It's very possible that astronomers will eventually locate the planet with the help of the Vera Rubin telescope. On November the 19th, a partial eclipse of the moon was visible across both the northern and southern hemispheres. It was the longest partial eclipse in nearly 600 years, dating back to the year 1440, and it was the longest until the year 2669. The celestial event actually began during the late hours of November the 18th over parts of Alaska and Hawaii, extending over northern and western Europe on the morning of the 19th. The moon was stretched into bizarre shapes before it sank into the depths of the Atlantic. The strange image is caused by layers of warm air located just above the surface of the sea. The layers refract and bend the lunar disk. As the moon sinks down towards the horizon, the inverted image appears out of the ocean waves. With mirrored craters on either side of the meeting point, it is called an inferior mirage. Here are a few amazing images of the historic partial eclipse of 2021. Did you know that one in 200 stars has habitable Earth-like planets surrounding it in the galaxy? Half a billion stars have Earth-like planets going around them. That's an incredible number. So when we look at the night sky, it makes sense that someone is looking back at us. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. And always keep looking to the sky.